In this tutorial, we'll be covering the basics of variables in Scratch. So the first thing we need to cover is what is a variable? A variable is a container where you can store useful data, whether that is numbers or text or some combination of the two. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by making a variable. The first thing we're going to be asked for is the variable name. We want to choose good names for our variables, something that's going to be really clear in what the variable means. And so the first thing I'm going to put in here is I'm going to select user age. So that's going to be the name of my variable. Notice that as soon as I do that, I get a whole bunch of extra options under the variables menu. And also the user age variable has appeared on the stage. That is controlled by this checkbox. So if I uncheck that, it is removed from the stage. If I recheck it, it's back on the stage. So that allows us to monitor the values that are in our variables. So now that we've created the variable and we're monitoring it on the stage, we should assign a value to this variable. And for this tutorial, we're going to use the set command. This is going to be the most useful command when it comes to variables. This command allows me to set my variable to anything I want it to be. You can see right now it's set to zero, so if I double click on this, it continues to be the value zero. If I set this to be the value 15, nothing changes because I have not run it as part of a program. The quickest way to run something in Scratch is just to double click on it. So when I do that, notice that user age changes to 15. Another variable could be used to contain the user name. So once again, by default, Scratch creates a variable with the value of zero. It automatically puts it onto the stage. So you can, once again, you can toggle this to show it and you can set the value. Now that I have more than one variable, my set command actually has more than one option. I can set user age, which is the command that I already had dragged out into the script area, or I can set the username. Now, the number zero doesn't make much sense for the username, so I'm going to change it to something like Bob. Notice nothing has changed until I double click on this, and now it has set the value to Bob. There are a number of things that we can do with variables. I don't want to get into too much detail with this tutorial. So the last thing I will talk about is because it's in the menu that we're looking at right now, is we have a change command. And that allows us to get into rudimentary changes of our variables. Right now, you might notice it says change user age by one. You can probably predict what the effect of that will be. If I double click on that, what I expect to happen is that the 15 is going to turn into 16. And I double click and that is exactly what happens. 17, 18, and so on. I could also change my user age by minus one. And if I do that, double click on it, you can see I'm cycling down. Now I'm 15, 14, 13, 12. Nothing says that I have to do this by plus one or minus one. I could actually go up by larger increments. So I could say plus five here. And if I click on that, my 12 turns to 17. Next should be 22. And then next should be 27. I could do the same thing in reverse. I could put minus three and my 27 will turn to 24, 21, and 18. So there is an introduction to variables in Scratch. What is a variable? It's a place where we store values. How do we create a variable? Monitoring that variable on the stage, giving it a good name, uh, assigning a value to a variable using the set command, and using the change command. Uh, one last thing I wanted to add in here. What about what if I decided to try changing the username by minus three? Well, I have Bob here and the username by minus three. Well, what effect is that going to have? And if you click on that, it just changed it to minus three. So you have to be careful about these operations. Not all operations play nicely with all the different data types. We had Bob in username a username is not something that we can manipulate using numbers. We can't add numbers or subtract numbers from a username. And that's why that failed. That's why that operation failed. So keep that in mind as you work with 
something as simple as change or as you move on to more complicated manipulations of variables. That's it for this tutorial. There will be other tutorials that get into more detail about variables in Scratch and how they can be used.